Morbi Wildfire Response is a software development company aimed at creating training software for the global aerial wildfire response market. Our software is highly configurable, allowing for all agencies to train at the highest level of fidelity. When we started Lorby Wildfire Response, we had one goal. A global solution for aerial wildfire response simulation training that would lower costs, improve training, and reduce accidents. We had seen too many failed or outdated simulation training programs, and we knew that sharing costs between agencies and handing off the development responsibility to a private sector company was the way to go. Our objectives were to develop software that is easily configurable to meet the unique needs of the global market, provide and maintain the simulation training knowledge base for the global wildfire community, and as technology develops, identify, test, trial and implement new features and function. Lobby Wildfire Response makes use of Lockheed Martin's simulation training platform called Prepared. Prepared is a visual simulation platform that allows users to create training scenarios across aviation, maritime and ground domains. Prepared engages users in immersive training through realistic environments. Developed by Lockheed Martin for the land, sea and air, military training market, you can train anywhere around the globe with ease. Our solution consists of four primary software applications, the instructor station, the pilot module, Lorby comms, and Lorby classroom. The instructor station is the heart of the simulation training experience. This software allows the user to create and manipulate network wildfire scenarios through an easy to use point and click type user interface. Scenarios can be developed and saved as part of a complex training curriculum, where they can be manipulated in real time, driving the fire, increasing density altitude and reducing visibility. Fire spread rates can be infinitely adjusted and saved in a database, AI aircraft can be added to simulate the complex airspace on the wildfire, custom static and dynamic scenery objects can be added, multiple monitors with multiple viewpoints can be easily created, visually track specific aircraft, pause fire growth at any time, and this is all done while you see your changes appear in real time in the 3D environment. Let's take a look at how this scenario in Tasmania was created using the instructor station. We will have to view the user interface and the 3D environment in two separate windows, normally you would simply view them on two monitors. The instructor station uses Google Maps as the canvas for designing your scenarios. It is automatically tied to your location in prepared. To place fires, scenery objects etc., it's as simple as selecting the object and then placing it on the map. The 3D environment will instantly populate with the object. We provide a variety of custom scenery objects to help create a realistic fire scenario. This will increase the overall immersion for the trainee and help drive the intent of the scenario. You have the ability to customize the scenery objects available in the menus, so adding your own AI aircraft for example is quite easy. To place vehicles that will move around on the landscape you select the vehicle and draw the path you would like it to follow. An options menu will automatically appear that will allow you to set speed, adjust or fine tune the track etc. Saving your scenario in the database allows the user to build a syllabus of pre-configured training missions designed to meet your specific training needs. Adding AI aircraft to a fire is very similar to adding vehicles. You select the aircraft you want to add, create a flight path on the map, and then add external loads, fine-tune the altitudes, flight path, drops etc. with the options menu. With a bit of practice you will be able to set up aircraft that will work a section of the fire and even reload buckets from a water source. This can really help create a scenario that forces the trainee to work the AI aircraft into the airspace planning. Visual tracking of any aircraft is easily done from the instructor station, combined with the ability to create multiple viewpoints on the fire, your situational awareness on the incident is excellent. The pilot module is what allows the individual sim stations to connect to the instructor station through an internet connection or a local area network. It also allows aircraft to be configured for the firefighting mission. Whether it's the retardant drop, bomb tank, Bambi bucket, heli torch, smoke generator, drop control panel, siren, etc., it's all configured and saved in the pilot module.
We include some optional advanced features such as the ability to feel the weight of the retardant or water on the aircraft and in particular, when it is dropped. You are often flying near max gross weight in high winds and density altitudes so we also added the ability to e-dump the load. You can reload buckets and scoop an aircraft at any body of water or use the reload, key command. If you are flying a tanker and want to drop half the load at coverage level 6, you simply have to select this on the drop control panel. If you have wind drift set up, you had better factor that into your bomb run, or risk missing your target. Pre-configure as many aircraft as you like and save these configurations. Once configured, Lobby Pilot allows you to connect to a scenario very easily. With multiple aircraft flying on a fire and communicating on a multi-channel radio system, you will be amazed at how realistic the training becomes. Even the close calls, become perfectly safe training experiences in a simulation. Almost everything we do on a wildfire has to be communicated on a radio at least once. Accurate, detailed and concise communication is the key to a safe, efficient and successful wildfire mission. Our voice over internet radio application mimics the multi-channel comms system used during wildfire operations. Our radios and satellite phone function as per the real world units. For example, if you want to learn how to operate the TFMD-136, tactical radio in use across Canada, you can do so with our software. We have even modeled a generic, line of sight, mobile and handheld radio that you might commonly use on wildfires in Australia and New Zealand. Logicoms is a completely independent application and needs nothing more than a computer and internet connection to join a scenario. This means role players, dispatchers etc. do not need to be in the same room or even the same country to participate in a training session. Every agency has their own naming convention and channel frequencies. This is why we made the comm server configurable. When you use the radio, the channel names and frequencies will be identical to your real world operations. Simply configure your comm server with your own frequencies and save it as the default setup. Anyone who joins your session will automatically have their radios populated with the host agency's default frequencies. This makes training across borders a very simple affair. Let's listen to a recording from a live training session. We are of course listening to all of the active channels and it does get busy, but most of you will be quite familiar with this type of traffic on the radio network. Alpha Lima Kilo, XMP90, by with the dispatch. Go for Alpha Lima Kilo. Alright, I got a detection called in by Baldi Lookout. It's Bravo Yankee 024. Location is 52 degrees, 30 by 116 degrees, 05. No other resources dispatched at this time. How on that? I copied 52 degrees, 30 by 116 degrees, 05. Yeah, that's affirmative. Wrap 5, Wrap 5, XMP-98, 5 with the dispatch. Go for Wrap 5. Alright, detection message number is Bravo Yankee, 024. Location, 52 degrees, 30 by 116 degrees, 05. Wrap 1 with Alpha Link PA, Kilo are on site. It sounds like there's two slow motion for a wildfire. I'm just going to that. I copy 52 degrees, 30 by 116 degrees, 05. Wrap 1 with ALK and 2 smokes. 681 for Dove 126. 126, 681, uh, 2 nautical behind you, 2927. Correct. I'm uh, showing 32 miles back at this time. And uh, give me a call when you're 5 minutes. Roger, call 5 minutes, 299. Uh, hey, Alpha Lima Kilo, this is GNS on 41. Yeah, good day, sir. We have you been showing yeah, eight miles well, back. Uh, uh, and you can you get any plans uh, when you get in there. Uh, sort of this gray, uh, yeah, if you guys would have mind landing by uh, the lake just, just north of the fire, then uh, maybe getting some hose and pump out, but probably going to wait for the tanker to do a couple drops on it just to cool it down for you guys. And just confirming that was on Romeo Whiskey Foxtrot 090. Uh, clear to okay, a copy yeah, of that's a firm. Uh, uh, we'll uh, yeah, we'll be there in five uh, minutes. At a well so site. Uh, just, 1120. Uh, uh, yeah, that's all received, and uh, we've set air to ground as 41. As well. Fox Hotel Bravo, I have you landing. Copy just call prior to the Briefings and debriefings are a common part of all wildfire operations, and sim training should be no different. 
With Lorby Wildfire Response you are able to record the full training session, both the audio and the 3D environment as it happens, and then replay the session in its entirety with Lorby Classroom. You can even isolate specific radio channels in the audio to ensure you hear what was said. With the ability to place markers into the recording in real time you can quickly and easily pinpoint the specific areas you are focusing on for the training. Key training points, like fire updates, run descriptions, checklist items etc. can all be tagged for easy access later on in a debriefing. Being able to give your trainees a copy of their radio work can be very useful for them to listen to after the fact. The Lorby Classroom interface is very similar in design to the instructor station, but with the tools required to replay a scenario, with the ability to pause, fast forward, rewind, and jump to specific marker locations.